Hey guys, it's Jen. I just wanted to follow back up with you guys on an update and studying for the T's. So, last week was my... You want to say hi? Jackson wants to say hi, guys. Say hi. Okay, so last week was my science week. Um, I broke my sections into weeks, so one week for each section. Last week was my science week of studying, and oh my goodness, I was quite surprised on um, how in-depth it was. I Okay, so let me just show you what I did. Um, I, these are, I don't know if you can see how many of these are. There's about 300 index cards for the science section alone. Now, I'm the type of person that I learn by, like, writing it out. That's how, I don't know, my brain works. And so I write a lot of notes. Mm -hmm. I highlight because I'm a visual learner. Mm -hmm. So the fact that I wrote out all these index cards, yes, it was time-consuming, but that's how my brain takes in information. <laughs> but what I'm finding is I'm not actually reviewing these cards per se, but I'm rereading the section, if that makes sense. So some of you may be like, oh, well, that was a waste of time. You're not even using them. But in my head, the fact that I wrote them out helps me to remember um, the information. Now, I'm sure there will come a time towards the end of the month, closer to my test, that I will take these out and review them, and I'm going to be glad that I did that. Um, but just day to day, I don't really review these. But what I'm finding is that I... Throughout the week, I'd reread and reread and reread. And I know some things that I need to work on further in the science section. A lot of it having to do with, like, um, I can balance the chemical equations, but it comes to, like, computing kinetic energy. It's like remembering all those formulas when they ask you the practice questions at the end of, like, each section. I'm having to go back and look at what the formula is rather than knowing it off the top of my head. So that's going to take a little bit of um, practice and redoing and doing and doing and redoing. Um, let me show you. All right, Jax, you got to get down, okay, for a second. Okay. Thank you. Go play with your trucks. Um, so let me show you what I did with my book. I broke it up into sections. Okay, so I have reading, math, science find that one and English I'm sorry for the glare my kitchen is behind me so it's not I chose a bad place to do this obviously but I took my science section itself and I broke it up um, how many pages I would do each day of the week for that section and actually I'm going to show you one section that I haven't done yet so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about so so reading, for example, I have it paper clipped. I don't know if you can see this. And then a post-it with the day, Friday the 23rd. So I know on Friday the 23rd I have to do my reading section and whatever is included in that paper clip. So that would be my day's worth of work for Friday the 23rd. And then I have Saturday the 24th, and it's clipped off. So I know how much I have to do for Saturday. And then we have Monday. So it goes through the entire week like that. So I know how much I'm doing on any given day. Now, yesterday being Monday, um, last week was science. This week is English. So yesterday was my first English section day. And I did what was allotted for that day yesterday. And then, after I was done with that, because it was so easy, I actually just skimmed through it, went right through the practice questions, because that first day, I don't know, it was like a breeze. There's nothing to it. I went back to my science, because I have a feeling that's where I'm going <laughs> to struggle the most. So I went back to my science and reread. Now, today, I will do the same thing. I will go through the second day of English, go back to where I left off in science yesterday with my rereading, and, excuse me, reread again. So, I don't know if that's the effective way of how to study, but I don't know any other way to do it. I've got to get all this information in, and I'm actually, I don't want to ramble and make this video too long. How many minutes am I at? I don't know. But, this is what I did. So, basically, I took the first, okay, so I focused on science first. So, what I did was I took the practice test only for the science section. I did it first, and then I got it. The very first time I got a 54. Then I 
did a large chunk of the science section, did my practice tests again, and got a 66. Then I went through my entire science section again on a different day, and then I ended up with a 98.5 for the science section of the practice, the first practice test. So after I finished my entire week of studying for science, I took the science section piece of the second practice test and took that. And you know what I got? A 62.5. I don't know. I'm nervous. I'm completely nervous now because although I'm studying my little butt off, like we went to the beach this past weekend, I studied the entire weekend. I don't know what else I can do, but just keep doing it, doing it, doing it. So if you guys have any pointers or tips, please leave them in the box below because I could use any advice at this point. I'm really nervous. I know I have until the 28th of August, but so. So any tips would be greatly appreciated. Today, I'm just going to... Let's do some more. Are you crazy? What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> You're being silly? Are you being silly? Um, so anyway, today I'm going to do my second day of my English portion. And then we do science again. So I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are doing well with your studying. Um, and keep me updated on how you're doing. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Lots of videos to come. Okay? Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.